welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel. And welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. My sissy made me that sign. This is a little purple lipstick, a purple heart, and a purple cross. If you pay attention to my intro, I have these on there. Not purple, but those are on there. She did purple because that's my favorite color. <laughs> Anyways. Today, we are going to be talking about my current favorite, favorite, <sighs> my current favorite makeup products. And I did current favorites because I can't do October because some of this stuff, I want to say it's my favorite, but I really didn't even use it all of October. And some of it I started using on the 1st of November, but they're my favorites though. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with sprays because... Or should I start with primers and then sprays? Primers and then sprays, because that's the order that I do my makeup in. So the first primer that I'm currently loving is this Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. This is the one that kind of has the pink tint to it. And I like to shake it, because if not, it can get kind of watery. Ooh, oh, well then that made me a liar. So it was kind of built up in the pump and it shot out a whole lot. So anyway, this is just what the primer looks like. And it, for it to be like pore reducing, it's a lot more moisturizing than it, moist, moisturizing? Than it is like pore filling filling, if that makes sense. So yeah, so you can see definitely it is going to mattify you. And it, like it's, you can barely see like the pores where my hairs on my hand are. That's really good. It doesn't interact bad with my dry skin. I don't have a problem with this and I can put this all over my face. Unlike the next one that I'm about to talk about. This one's a lot, this one's kind of a dupe for the next one I'm gonna talk about, which is kind of good. Only it's a little more moisturizing so I can use this all over my face. But the one I'm talking about is my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And I have the small one which is $15. This one retails for 12. So it's not a very big difference if you're buying the small one, but I believe the big one is like double the price. So it's like 30 something dollars. And this is a full size. So in this one you get 0.5 fluid ounces. And in this one you get 0.91 fluid ounces. So it is, wow, that's a big difference. So it is a, it is better to still to get this one over this one, especially if you have dry skin. Yeah, so there's this one that is from Urban Decay and this one I cannot put all over my face. I have to strictly use the smallest amount, like that's literally how much I use and I can only put this and focus it right in the area where I have pores. So sometimes I might take it on my forehead, sometimes I might take it on my chin, but for sure I'm really only focusing it on this area of my skin. And so, like I said, this one is a lot more thick. It takes a little more time to blend out and a oh boy. So you see how that little bit went just as far as this one, a lot of it went. But like I said, you get kind of the same, the same um, effect. It just the Urban Decay one's a little bit more dry, but like I said, this is a pretty good dupe for it. And they're actually the same color. How funny, I didn't even know that I had that, but they just happen to both be my current favorite primers. And so the next primer that I have is this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. And this I really love. It reminds me a lot of my Ulta Hydrating Primer. So if you don't have this, the Ulta, Ulta Hydrating Coconut Primer is essentially the same thing to me, only this one, um, the texture is a little bit different. So this one has more of like a jelly texture. I was saying in the video today um, that I recorded with this makeup look. And yeah, so, I really, really like this one. It's very, very moisturizing. I put this all over my face. Now, with this primer, I literally just go in with a set it with a primer and a primer spray, and I call it a day. With this one, I always use a second primer, and this is you. Sorry, this is usually the combination that I'm going to do is something hydrating with this on my pores, and so that's always how I use these more hydrating primers because I do want something just to fill in my pores just a little bit. But nonetheless, this is pretty good it makes it helps my makeup stick on I can use any foundation with this and it looks great and yeah this is a really good primer I did get this in a boxy charm but I believe it retails for like 20 20 something dollars I can let you guys know from I'm gonna go back and look at other videos and see how much this costs and I'll put it on there 
as you guys know, this I have the Elf Glow Dewy Mist, and I love applying this before. If I'm using if I'm using a matte foundation, I'll go in and apply this before. But usually, I'll just spray this a little bit of this on my sponge after I finish my makeup and I set it. And I spray a regular setting spray. I'll spray a little bit of this on a sponge, and I'll just go in and push it in and push in that setting spray, and it gives you the most absolute beautiful glow. I'm actually wearing it today, and my skin just looks so healthy, so beautiful, just. Ugh, I love this for that purpose and this big bottle actually retails for eight dollars and the next setting spray is another one that I got in my boxy charm and this is the skin and company truffle therapy aqua Illum or truffle therapy illuminating skin refreshments refresh refresh mist so this is um, it says radiant dew and I actually really like this. It's not going to be as glowy as this one is, but I can spray this one all over my face. I don't have to go in with the sponge. So I can spray this one all over my face. And this one actually really does because it does say that it tightens your pores a little bit. And I believe in that because I could just use this maybe without going on with the pore filling primer and then use this at the end of my makeup. And it really does just make everything look a little bit more locked and loaded. So this, this I have on my skin right now. This is a $5 and this will be the best thing you have ever tried if you have a dollar journal near you. And this is the Believe Beauty Skin Foundation Medium to Full Coverage. I have mine in the shade Warm Vanilla. Guys, this, this foundation y'all, I can't say anything about it except it's great. It makes your skin look beautiful. It, And I have a really dry skin, but it's also not oily. It doesn't break down really bad. So I think it would be good for oily skin. I can actually have my sister try it and see what she thinks because she has a little bit more oily skin than I do. But you guys, like this is so flipping good. Like I cannot, oh, this is just... That's how good this is. Like, I wish you guys could try this. Matter of fact, get you $5, save you $5, walk to Dollar General, $5.40, because that's tax, at least in Texas. So walk to Dollar General, get you this foundation because you're going to love it. Every primer I've used with this foundation, I have loved. Love, 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 loved. And this one's $5. Now, something similar that's a little bit more high end is the new Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, and I have this one in the shade 330W. These do the sim these do a similar thing. Like even though this says luminous, you don't get the glow till after. It's not dewy. It's gonna add. It's gonna help your skin look illuminated, like just luminous but not dewy i feel like there's a very big difference like dewy i feel like kind of means like it kind of makes it look like you have natural oils peeking through but luminous to me just means like you have like a healthy glow if that makes sense like a glow from within is what this does and you have to be very careful with this one though because if you do use too much it can start to cake up like i use too much and it was caking up in my smile lines like really really bad I believe beauty one doesn't do that I used three I used three pumps of both three pumps with the honest ABH one not my friend personally like I said if you have a little bit oily skin it might work a little bit better but since I'm dry things do tend to crease a little bit more on me so this one is what is it 38 48 38 around there around 40 bucks is the ABH one and five dollars if you like higher end makeup, try the ABH one. If you can't afford it, get the Believe Beauty one. They're essentially the same thing. Now for concealer. Not only does this look great, and this is the Believe Beauty concealer, not only does it look great with the Believe Beauty foundation, but this has looked great with every single foundation I have used with it. That is not the Believe Beauty one, and it doesn't crease. This is like a little, a smidge dark. It's actually the perfect shade for me if I don't want to highlight my face, if that makes sense. So it's like my natural skin shade. It's not for highlighting. But this, y'all, this measures up to my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And I'm just going to leave that there because y'all know. I ride or die for that Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And that this one's only $4, and I believe the Catrice one is $6, so. 
Y'all really want to know why my skin looks flawless? Y'all really want the secret as to why my skin looks, looks so good is because of this. This is the Believe Beauty Setting Powder. Yet again, it's either four or five dollars at Dollar General. Everything for Believe Beauty. Nothing is over five dollars. <sighs> that being said, though, that powder, that powder for four or five dollars is the best I've ever tried. And that's because you're talking to a girl who loves the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. This measures up to that. This measures up to that, and it's a fraction of the price. I guess we can go into eyes because I have a lot for eyes. I have eyeshadow, mascara, lash glue, lashes, multiple packs of lashes. So a lot of the stuff I got in my boxy charms, guys. Like if you don't have boxy charms, sign up for boxy charm. $25 a month after tax and shipping, it's gonna come out to $27 flat. And you get over $125 worth in your box every single month. Get at least $125 worth of product. So what I got in my very first box ever from, no, my second box. And excuse how messy this palette is. My son got into it. But this is the um, Essentials Violet Voss Eyeshadow Palette. And here's why I love this. It's not for the colors, but it's that I can go in and do an everyday look with it. And they're easy to blend out or I can be a little bit more bold for a date night. So it's like I feel like I have everything smack dab in this palette. I can go a little bit more bold and I have done a look with this palette and I'll, I'll link it up here. I can go bold or I can go a little bit more, like I said, a little more every day. I can take this color right here in my crease and I can put this one in, or sorry, and I can put this one all over my lid and boom, like I have a complete eyeshadow look or like I said, I can you know, build up these three, which I did, and then put this on my lid, and it's a little bit more bold. Like I said, you can do so much with this, and I get why it's called the essentials, because if you need some color, boom, you got it in here. If you need, like I said, you're a little bit more basic, but you kind of want to step out of your comfort zone, but still be in your comfort zone, boom, right here. And so I actually really do love this. The next one I got is because, and this is if you're a neutrals girl, you will love this because, and if you love mattes, I used to be like, I only want matte eyeshadows. Don't give me nothing with shimmer. I don't want metallic. All I want is matte. And had I had this at that point in my life, y'all, y'all, if I had this at this point in my life, I would have, I wouldn't have even looked at another eyeshadow palette. So this is the Baked Browns Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. And it goes, and these are, and I really like this. Like I said, another, you can use this for every day. It's all mattes for those of you who may not like shimmer or you feel like shimmers don't really sit right on your eyelid. This is really perfect for that. These blend great. They are a little bit powdery, as you can see right there. That's why whenever I opened it, I tried to blow it, I tried to blow it off. But yeah, these are a little bit more powdery. The brush that comes with it, it gets the, it gets detailed work done, but it's not the best brush that usually that comes in a lot of eye check, a lot of eyeshadow palettes that are higher end. So you're really definitely paying for not only the good packaging, but for the products themselves. And so, like I said, I really do like this eyeshadow palette. It's another one that I've been loving. Just if I need to grab something, I'm grabbing this because it's neutral. It'll go with whatever I'm wearing, and I can do either every day or I can do bold with it. And that's kind of the theme here: is I can go bold or I can do every day. So sticking with that same thing of neutrals and just being able to grab a palette and just go with it is also the, I have the mini Nubian palette right here from the Juvia's Place. And like I said, you can go a little bit bold on this side or you can stay very neutral and just grab it and run with it. And that's kind of why these are my favorite. And I really do constantly grab for these when I, because I'm not wearing this makeup look on a daily basis. Like I'm not this full glam on a daily basis. Maybe the eyelashes, yes, just because it doesn't take very long to pop on eyelashes. Speaking of eyelashes, what I'm wearing right now are these lashes that I got off of um, AliExpress. I literally paid like a dollar for these. And this is what they look like in the package. And on the bottom it says, dress your eyes. And this is what they look like. This is what they look like on my eyes, you guys. Like, 
these lashes are so beautiful for basically 50 cents a pair. So I recommend, it does take like a, it takes a little minute to come in. I waited a month for these to come in, but guys, like you're not gonna find eyelashes that are this bold and beautiful for a dollar. You're just, you're not going to like, unless you go to AliExpress and you wait like a month to receive your eyelashes. And so the next ones that I have are these from Broadway, from Broadway Eyes. And this is another Dollar General brand. And I believe I paid $4.50 for these and it's a three pack. And these are for like my everyday use where mascara is just not cutting it and I just need a little more length or a little more just like va va boom. These are really easy to apply because the band is super thin and they they just look really pretty on the eyes. And that's another reason why I'm loving these. Now I found these at TJ Maxx. My son tore up the packaging, so I don't remember what they're called. Um, but these are called the Glam Wispies. Like I said, I found these at TJ Maxx. It was a black and green box. And these are super flirty, super long, super wispy. I like these for date night because they're not as dramatic as, I mean, I would wear these to date night that I have on too. But like, if you want to be a little more like soft and flirty, not so sultry and flirty, but if you want to be a little bit more soft, like I really love these. And another everyday lash that I've been loving are the Salon Perfect 614s. Another lash with a thin band, but they're going to give you this length that I have on right now with this thinness and wispiness, if that makes sense. So it's, it's, it's bold, but it's not too bold, if that makes sense. So you can actually add that with the bold eye look, or you can wear it with a very minimalistic eye look. You can go either way with those Salon Perfect 614. So if you don't have the money to buy a ton of different lashes, I recommend those. And you can buy the pack of five for like eight bucks at Walmart. <laughs> Last thing for the eyes is a mascara. I used to be somebody like, I want lengthening. I don't care if it looks like I have stick eyelashes as long as they're long. I'm not that kind of person no more. I need a little bit of both. And so what I have found has been giving me a little bit of both for top and bottom is this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Now I have that on my lower lashes right now and I feel like it complements these falsies really, really well as well as I do have them on my regular lashes under my falsies. This, I don't like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I don't. And Carbon Black it used to be one, like the telescopic Carbon Black used to be one of my favorite mascaras. But I definitely like this one because the Carbon Black, if you have a lot of volume, you should get the telescopic. But if you need a little bit of both like me, I recommend this one. Because the telescopic is definitely going to give you length, but it won't give you a lot of volume. And so this one has to be my favorite because it's the perfect in between the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. The reason I don't like that one is because it's just a lot of volume and it flakes and smudges and just everything you don't want in a mascara that does on me so this one has been my favorite oh my favorite lash glue has been this kiss strip lash, ad lash adhesive on a good day where i don't have to fuss and fight with watery eyes or just taking off and reapplying this will keep your lashes on all freaking day through tears and all because I have wore this to church and cried and my eyelashes don't go anywhere and it's like two bucks okay so the last thing I have is not the last thing on to the next category which is lips y'all I got this in last month's boxy charm and this is the lip plumping got lip plumping lip plumping gloss by iconic london y'all i love this this is what it looks like this uh, it's a little bit minty for a little while but it doesn't sting your lips and this is just what the doe foot acts looks like acts like looks like and i have mine in the shade nearly nude so yeah i really like this gloss it it, it does give your your lips the appearance of being a little bit more full. I like to do an all matte lip all around and then just going with this right in the center and it makes like this part of my lips look like, look like that without me doing that. And it just looks really, really cute. So oh, this is one of my faves. Another good gloss, oh, and it's not sticky. Another good gloss that's kind of the same is, is actually just the Bare Minerals gloss line. And this is the, 
the Brilliant Gloss. And so I really like these. I just grabbed a random color. And this is what the doe foot looks like on these. These have like a sweet smell to them. And these don't burn or anything like that. They're not plumping. But another good gloss, excuse me, another good gloss to just pop in it to the center. My favorite lip liner, which I haven't had for very long, is this one. That's how much product I have left. I need to go get a new one. But yeah, is this Revlon lip liner. And I have mine, and I have mine in the shade Nude. And that's just what it looks like. It's a really pretty brown color. I didn't swatch the glosses because I don't want gloss all over my hands. Good, long lasting. If you put this under a liquid lipstick, and like that liquid lipstick starts to wear off this doesn't wear off so you still have like a natural color underneath now for two dollars this is a really great blush this is the essence satin blush and i have mine in the shade satin coral and it looks a lot more washed out on a camera than it does give me a second than it does in person like it's not that light in person oh my gosh wrong button so that's more true to color rather than that so you guys so like i said this is the true color i really really like it it's really pretty and soft I, you can get away with using this in the, the fall and in the summer because like i don't know i just feel like it complements like any eye look that you're going for and it's gonna add like that perfect wash for like two dollars and it's pretty big for two dollars and it lasts it is a long lasting blush. Next thing I have is this I Heart Revolution Bronze and Glow Duo. And this bronze, I, I still wish that the bronzer was bigger than the highlight because I'm not gonna go through that much highlight, but I might go through that much bronzer. So this bronzer is really nice and smooth and it's really great for contouring because it is a little bit more ashy, but if you build it up, it does add some of that color black back to the skin. I'm actually wearing both of these today as well as the highlight and the highlight is nice and subtle and really glowy without being way too much. So if you're somebody who likes things that are a little more subtle, I highly recommend this. I believe it's $7. Okay, so another one that you guys know I've been loving and I'm about to hit pan on is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Now this one... Oh, you want a really quick, beautiful glow that you don't have to build up? Get this. I have mine in the shade bronzer, and it's so pretty, so buttery, just so, mmm. I love this bronzer. My favorite bronzer. And then one thing that I did start using again and falling back in love with has been my Makeup Revolution Hydrate. What? highlighting quad and i have the light one and this is just what it looks like this one is definitely my favorite but i will mix it in with any of these other ones i really like to pop this one on my inner corner a lot but i will mix this gold one in with these two and i will add it and this is for up if you like a bold highlight like you like to be shining to god himself you want god to be blinded by your presence this one right here is my fave <sighs> And I think that that is it, you guys. That was a lot of products to go through. And I think that this is my longest favorites product. What? What? I think that this is my longest favorites video ever that I've ever done. And so I love you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm just not going to be able to link everything down below because I don't have access to short links. And linking things directly from the website is too long and I won't have... It, it won't allow me that many characters to copy and paste. I will do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. I will take my the top. I will pick my favorites of my favorites and link them down below. How about that? Does that sound better? That sounds better, huh? So, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you kind of like my vibe, like like what I'm putting through to you guys through this screen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.